lovely peeps. Right. Um, I commented in. Oh, I don't. Uh, there we go. I commented on um, Catherine Laura Budget Slimmers um, vlog the other day. Um, top five tips of getting back on plan. And I said, I wouldn't have a clue. Um, but they said, well, why not have a think about it and do a video? And I thought, uh, uh, okay then, I will. So here's my top five tips. <coughs> right, first one, I actually wrote all these down. Look. Dang, off my reading, off my reading, off my writing. Um, don't kick yourself when you have a blip. Um, if you have a bad day, don't worry about it. Everybody has bad days. Um, just pick yourself up, dust off, and get back on it, back onto it as soon as you can. If um, you're not feeling up to it, have a couple of days. Um, I have... I had a real bad couple of blips just recently, um, but I'm now back on plan. They haven't been major ones, you know, I haven't gone like a week with one big blip. It's just been either an afternoon and I felt, oh no, I've messed up here. I haven't gone, oh, I've messed up, sodded a lot of it. No, I've um, had a look. Wrote it down, and I'm like, oh, why did I do that? And I think, right, next meal, or I'll have a snack before a snack of, like, a piece of fruit or something, carrot sticks, and I'll just get back on plan with the next meal or the next day, or, you know, just don't kick yourself. Everybody messes up. Um... So that's that one. <laughs> um, number two, store cupboard. Now you've probably seen in some of my videos our store cupboard, well, our cupboards in the kitchen, well, not all of them. Um, but you'll find in there a lot of herbs, spices, different seasonings like Cajun seasoning, chicken seasoning, steak seasoning, anything like that. That way, you can make a meal taste different with just some seasonings. If you've had a meal, like your standard meal, and you've done it so many times, you're starting to get bored with it, but don't know what to replace it with, just add some different seasoning or some different herb. It will make it taste totally different. Um... You can experiment with different seasonings as well, and um, and always, always have rice or pasta in the cupboard. I mean, we're on a budget. I know Budget Slimmers is on a budget because that's why they're called Budget Slimmers. Um, but rice, pasta, couscous, lentils, pearl barley. Um, I mean, how, I could go in the kitchen right now. If I've got nothing else in the cupboards, I could just go and have a bowl of pasta. Um, yeah, it's not very good. But always have pasta, herbs, seasonings, spices. Um, it's so easy um, to do. <coughs> what, what other store cupboard essential have I got? Oxo cubes. I always have oxo cubes because that way potato wedges sprinkle an oxo cube over the top bang many of them done um always try and mix things up with your seasonings as well um oh i think i've exhausted that subject um but that's that number three write everything down um, I did go a while without writing things down. Um, I've now started... Oh, this is my trusty book. It's 
It's not an expensive one, as you can see. Wilco's, I think it was about 45p. Um, I did, there's some bits here that I've totally missed days on. I mean, look, how sparse is that? <laughs> but something new I've started doing, because from that you can't see what's free, what's speed, what's sins or anything like that. So I've started something new. Get back to where I was. There it is. Colour coding. All I use is some coloured pencils. For I've got the little key up there for my speed. It's the orange. Free pink. Healthy extra A. Blue. Healthy extra B is green. And then all I do is colour code everything. And then anything that's sinned just stays normal black. As you can see there. Four slices of bread. Oops. I was bad. Very bad. <coughs> um, so that's, that's different. I mean, with that, I can just go, oh, what was my speed food yesterday? Oh, yeah. Instead of going, uh, that was, uh, that was, uh, that was. Also, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to start to do is right, right at the end of the week, because... Those two pages is usually, usually my weight. So after weighing, I will put my weight in that corner. That way I can see, well, that was a good week. No, that was a bad week because I put on. Or I need to change something on that one. What can I do? So that is another brilliant idea. Write everything down. Um, number four. Put those back. Um... Keep your awards, if you've got any awards on Slimming World, keep them in plain sight. Um, mine are up there on my other raft unit at the moment. I'm going to be getting some frames and I'm um, going to put them on the top of his unit. Um, hold on, I'll pause you and show you those. You'll have to excuse the weaving. So there you go, you can see my awards up there on his unit. Um... Like I said, I'm going to get some frames and put them on the top, along the top there, so that when I'm sitting here and thinking about dinner, I can have a look up there and see the awards that I've already done. I don't. I'll bring you back down again. That, that's my awards. Um, I've got. Um, like I said, that way, while I'm sitting here planning dinner or planning my breakfast or... That dog again. Um, or planning my lunch. I can have a look up there. See those. See how far I've come. And think, well, I'm not going to be bad. I'm going to be good. I'm going to have lots of free food. Lots of speed food. It just... Gives you that extra motivation. If you haven't had any awards yet, buy yourself a little whiteboard and put it up somewhere where you always pass, or even in the kitchen, um, on the hang it up on the side or hang it up on one of your units in the um, cupboards in the kitchen where you're preparing your food, and write down how many pounds you've lost, or if you're doing it. Uh, home um how many stones or anything like that it just gives you that extra motivation to just keep going um i think that was that one um, yeah number five keep a diary either a diary a blog or a vlog um, that way you can go back if you've had a blip on a certain day or if you haven't lost weight that one week 
you can go back and see how you were feeling. Because um, a lot of blips happen, obviously, when you're depressed, when you're not having a good day. Um, you'll be surprised how much you waffle. I mean, I'll waffle for England. Um, <laughs> you'll be surprised how much you either write down or say on a vlog um, that can mean a lot when you go back and look at things. I mean, I suffer from depression on and off. I have done since I was 14. So those are always my, my bad days is when I'm suffering from depression. <coughs> Everybody gets it. I mean, this time of year as well isn't helping. Um, I do suffer from SADS as well, which is a season, seasonal affective disorder, which causes depression. Um, as you can see, I'm pale anyway. So that doesn't help matters because I'm sad is to do with um sunlight I think I've read I think um and this time of year sun, there's not a lot of sunlight or what sunlight there is it's yuck. um and it's only going to get worse up until after christmas so i've just got to deal with it <laughs> i mean i might be laughing and joking but i wear a mask well um but those are my five top tips i think yeah another thing as well is if you're doing if you've got a blog um and other bloggers find your blog they can it can be a really good support um so can social media i mean youtube is brilliant um there's so many other slimmers out there and we all offer each other support and you know always comment well done or anything like that um but that is my five top tips. I had that took me a good couple of hours to come up with them. I really did have to think hard. Um, I can't think of anyone to tag in it. Um, if you've got a vlog on YouTube and you haven't done top top five tips, go for it. Um, it's actually helped me. <laughs> Some of them, I mean, the first one, don't pick yourself. Yeah, it's kind of obvious. Don't kick yourself when you've had a blip. Just get back on plan. Um, but they've helped me. Definitely. Anyway, I think this is going to be long enough. Um, I'll see you when I upload my vlog on Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. Bye.